Hello again and welcome to the Foro Italio for the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour Finals. We are live just outside the Stadio Olimpico in Rome. Well, welcome to a venue full of charm, history, and excitement for a gold medal match that's going to be incredible. Rome is the city of eternal love, but it's also the city where you are only one word away from an argument. My name is Louis Letts, and I am here in the commentary box with you for this evening. It's a rematch of the World Championship final between Russia's Oleg Stoyanovsky, Vyacheslav Krasilnikov, and Germany's Julius Toller and Clemens Wickler. They played in two finals before, the World Championships in Hamburg two months ago, and in the indoor arena in The Hague in January. Both finals going the way of the Russians, who were tremendous last night, defeating the beach volley Vikings in three. Stoyanovsky on the left, Krasilnikov on the right. Krasilnikov sided out so, so well. Stoyanovsky was a monster at the net. But for the young Germans, it's been a year to remember playing in the Rottenbaum Arena with a full house cheering their name day on day week on week but this is another test for Germany. Gneska Gneska will be in charge of proceedings this evening. And the second referee from Serbia, Robert Lecker. Solovikla in their first season together, as are the Russians as well. Great seasons for both teams. Vyacheslav Krasilnikov, fourth at the Olympic Games, was a big result. But now he's a world champion, winning in Hamburg. The 28-year-old is a defender dynamic, fierce, and aggressive. Nine seasons on the World Tour, 70 tournaments. This team together have only played 13 times. Three of those times they've taken gold. They're going for number four this evening in one of the biggest events of the season. His partner, Oleg Stoyanovsky. Well, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. 6'9", two meters, seven centimeters from Moscow. The former Youth Olympic gold medalist, and now he's a world champion. Phenomenal last night, making block after block. He said that was their best performance as a pair to beat the Vikings here in Rome. Julius Toller, Clemens Wickler, the 24th tournament together. They are certainly turning heads in this sport. For Julius Toller, it's his seventh World Tour Final Four. Two silver medals, two bronze medals, and two fourth place finishes. They are going for their first gold medal tonight here. Julius Toller from Hamburg, another monster at the net at six foot nine, two meters six centimeters his partner a wizard on the backcourt Clemens Wickler 24 years old from Berlin six foot three one meter 91 centimeters 24 competitions these boys have never won a gold medal what a fitting end to the season if they could get their own back on the world championship here in Rome this evening The 
The beach volleyball community are watching in numbers after witnessing Laura Ludwig and Maggie Kozik women winning the women's gold medal just moments ago. And the adrenaline is certainly still pumping here in the beach arena. Krasilnikov gets us underway, but it's wide and long. Okay, so which way does this one go? The world champions defeated the Vikings. It was only the Vikings' fifth loss of the season. But Stoyanovsky and Krasilnikov, who won the world championship two months ago and since then have gone quiet. Yes, you can't play at your best every single week, but for the Russians, it was uncharacteristic. Stoyanovsky just turning on back. They played three times before these two teams. Russia winning all three. Hamburg, Doha and The Hague. Ace from Stoyanovsky. Very humble young man. Speaking to him last night was so happy. And he said himself, you can't play your best every single tournament, but they've come good at the two big ones in the season. Wickler looks to try and fiddle one to the line, but that's wide of the mark as well. And Germany are already have a two-point lead. But for Russia, a ninth in Moscow on home sand wasn't what they were looking for. Wickler brushes one wide of the mark. Vienna was a fifth. 17th in start after winning the World Championships. Maybe suffering from a slight hangover from a performance perspective. Toller goes deep. Krasilnikov is making good reads here, padding away. Vickler. What a swing from Clemens Vickler. Krasilnikov makes the scoop. And if this is a sign of things to come, ladies and gentlemen, we are in for a treat here this evening. Free ball comes over. Julius Toller just stays calm, smooth, and is scooped with his arm swing. Here we go. Serve. Pressure is a funny thing, it rears its head in many different ways. Still the coffee played with Konstantin Semenov for so long before teaming up with Nikita Liam in the European Championships last year in The Hague. It was decided that Stoyanovsky. Kosilnikov was the way forward, and what a great decision for Russia that really was. Since then, they've been world class, and they really have showed up already. They know on paper they have the advantage over their opponents. Kosilnikov shows the cross court with the upper body a little bit, has a little look to the cross court before just guiding the ball to the line. Stoyanovsky carrying on exactly as he left off yesterday. He's going so low on Vickler. Trying to tease him into thinking whether he's going to block or break. He decides to break. Clemens Vickler has arrived again. This time in Rome. They've won every game this week. Vickler and Tolik. Belgium, Latvia. Schmedins and Samoilovs who have been on good form winning in Moscow. Semenov, Leshikov, Semenov, the former partner of Krasilnikov. Schweiner and Perisic, who took a second in Ostrava. And then Gibb and Crab. Yesterday, Tolle! The progression of this sport is scary. The players get bigger and bigger. The angles that they can take more and more. Germany, a third in Moscow. Two weeks ago, two in a row from Julius Toller. 
We've said this before against Julius Toller. He makes a better door than a window. He shuts out Russia again. Interesting. Stoyanovsky now will start to feel some sort of pressure if he feels it at all. The former Youth Olympic gold medalist, Batch, out the back. And now this is something really interesting for all of us. Four in a row. Recovery setting from Krasilnikov is really good, but the rhythm underneath the ball is Stoyanovsky. He's frustrated. Kornowski, formerly partner, Yardzukin. That's who he left to play with Krasilnikov. Yardzukin was his partner at junior level. Doing very well at junior level as well. Winning that Youth Olympics and also see the European junior titles to go alongside them. Gladiator territory. And boy, oh boy, do we have a battle on our hands here. Another heavyweight clash at the Coliseum of Beach Volleyball. Turning, Vickler has to play that one high, keeping control of the ball. Rasilnikov, two looks at the court before facing the line and then working away from the shoulder. It's common knowledge in this sport that Krasilnikov suffers from shoulder injuries and it's because he faces one way and then really turns the ball away with the other. Tolle from the right side, looking really assured, Julius Tolle with that ball away from the body. Tolle, a European champion, at under 18 level in 2014 with Sven Winter, who's now playing with Alexander Volkenhorst, but at the moment with Erdman. Vickler also, well, he was an under-19 world champion with Moritz Reichart. But this would be another step up, but the big guys here are going over and round the block really easily. It's another show of where the sport's going. Stoyanovsky knows if he stays high, he has every chance of going above. Tolle, yes, they're the same height, but Still reaching to try and get into his zone, Tollet. Tollet passing off the net, staying really close to try and get the ball in the hitting zone. Sitting around is Krasilnikov. Touch off the blocks, the ball has to come over. Oh, wide back set. Really audacious from Germany, but Krasilnikov has read it. But the only way that ball could go was line, but Germany really have the wind in their sails and they're battling away high off the hands again. This is how Stoyanovsky plays the majority of the time. He doesn't really worry about scoring to the sand. He just tries to go over the hands and backs himself and backs his height and athleticism. Two very similar points from Russia against Julius Tolle. The end of the season, approaching very quickly the Olympic qualification in Haiyun in China. Two weeks' time, where two teams will qualify the Olympic Games outright. Krasilnikov, Stoyanovsky have already qualified for the Olympics due to their victory at the World Championships earlier on. Stoyanovsky, three from three for the big Russian right side. Almost seven foot tall, makes it look easy. 
Once again, the block's angle, he hammers angle, takes the block on at every opportunity. Stoyanovsky. Stoyanovsky gets one back on Tole. Moving late into the line by the looks of it. Discipline, the outside hand, just about getting around. Monster block from Stoyanovsky. Will Russia do the double over Germany? Net touch against Tolle now. And Russia already have a three-point lead in this race. Well, oh, it's a net touch, my mistake. It was against Julius Tolle. Actually against Stoyanovsky on the way up. That's a much better angle. And as Mole Christian saw in the Beach Volley Vikings take the bronze home from this competition as they did in the World Championships. And this could be the very same podium as Hamburg. It would be unbelievable. Two biggest events of the year, exactly the same podium. If Russia wins, but Germany are hot on their heels at the moment. Tolle out of the system from the right side. Wide of the mark. Pressure building here on Germany. The first pass is so crucial. The ball brushes the wrong side of the sideline. It's Krasilnikov and Stoyanovsky leading by three. Tolle with all the service pressure coming his way at the moment. And he finds a way over the top of Stoyanovsky. And just look at how pumped he is to side the ball out. Once again, the big blocker taking the big blocker on, on the opposing side of the net. Stoyanovsky, eyes on the player to try and adjust his line, beaten to the inside half. The Beach Volley Vikings coming past the USA. Taylor Crab and Jake Gibb earlier on 2-0. Wasn't the end of the season that they were looking for because Russia were on top form last night. But this game just doesn't seem to have quite got going just yet, but hold on tight, boys and girls. Foot fault from Vickler. Challenge from Clemens Vickler. Teams are allowed two challenges a set. If it's a good challenge and the challenge is reversed, then you keep your challenge if the challenge and the decision isn't reversed. Then your challenge has gone. Vickler is sure that his foot didn't go over the tape, but Stoyanovsky isn't giving that ball up in a hurry. Official review, was it sand or was it the foot of Julius Toller? May have just been sad. There is no well, there you go. You learn something every day. Hawkeye and the video challenge system providing once again that they have the best eye in the sky. Here at the Fora Italico. Spin serve, Wickler, Tolle Wickler. The song that followed us through Hamburg. Taking off again here, Stoyanovsky just wait for the pattern. He's just going over the top, as he does. If he can pass well here, Stoyanovsky, they may just have to think about serving Vyacheslav Krasilnikov, Germany. The problem with that is that Krasilnikov is dynamic and he hits audacious angles at great speeds. Fast plays, Tolle chipping, his body line shows it all, gives it away. Krasilnikov is not watching the ball right there. He's watching the body line of the spiker and he's shuffling around with what he sees. He makes a dig 
I'm with it. The three-point lead is back again for Russia, the world champions. Fast serving, Tolle from the right side. Desperate for a point here. Off the hands again, it's the two big boys going head to head here in Rome. Serving each other and trying to go off the hands as often as possible. Stoyanovsky making the read, diving into the angle on the body line of Tolle. Tolle firing up. Krasilnikov eating some sand in the meantime. Just when Germany needed something special, Tolle starts to score from behind the baseline. Matrix style moves from Stoyanovsky. So many swings of points. Stoyanovsky again, what are the chances he goes off the block? This time he goes sharp. Change of ends. Stoyanovsky this time decides to face his body line to the line. Show that to the block and defense before working away through the body on a sharp angle. Great swing from the big Russian. Setting slightly more off the net, shooting, dropping the elbow as well, Julius Toller. It's been well read from Krasil Nikov, and the problem for Tolle when he's off the net and drops his arm. Krasil Nikov knows that a softer shot is coming. He can wait, he can hold. And then in transition, what does he do? He looks for the hands of Julius Toller, scores off the outside. Three-point lead again. Tolle passing off the net once again, charging through, goes with the hammer to the line. Now we're talking business time. Tolle charging again. They need a break here though, Germany. Stoyanovsky, they're still peppering Stoyanovsky with the serve. Stoyanovsky is still siding out like an absolute dream here. Then he takes the block on. He just stays super high wherever he swings Stoyanovsky. It's going to be difficult for Tolle to get in range with his hands. Smart play. Stoyanovsky, someone so big would sometimes try and hit sharp and try and hit hard, but he always stays high and smooth. Krasilnikov from downtown, sitting, waiting in the body line is Vikla. Two checks, chipping to the line. Krasilnikov is reading Germany like a book here. And it's not about playing defense. It's about converting the opportunities that you earn by playing defense. Defense is just a tool to go about scoring points. Krasilnikov, cash money. A timeout at 18-14, Russia. Four points now. Krasilnikov has been around for a long, long time, the 28-year-old, and he's always been one of the most dynamic left sides in the game. You have to be to play on the left side. You have to be able to move your feet well, kick out, face the cross court, and try and drive back through the ball. This for Russia is an exciting partnership that could go all the way to gold. In Tokyo next year. This rivalry between these two teams, Bruno Evandro and the Beach Volley Vikings, who have just lost five games this whole year. They've won eight competitions, the Beach Volley Vikings, but in the two big ones, this has been the final. 
everyone's watching. Russia beating Germany by four, Krasilnikov on two, but this time it's Vikla who runs down the softer shot from Russia. Krasilnikov makes another read and look at the face of Clemens Vikla. He knows he has just been shut down by something very, very special. Reading again there, Krasilnikov coming in on such an angle, Vikla. He can't access the line. Stoyanovsky knows that and just throws his hands in. They're impressing again here, Russia. Vikla. This time does go wrist away for one of the first times in this game. He has to utilize it because if he hits through his body line, the block of Stoyanovsky might just be waiting for him. Turning the shoulder, smooth arm from Vikla. Stoyanovsky. How long can Germany keep serving Oleg Stoyanovsky? They're trying to take the big man on, but after a slow start in the last 10 minutes or so, you just can't remember him missing a side out play. Tremendous from Stoyanovsky. Last night it was blocking, now it's his side out play. First set point for Russia, through the hands. Which way does this one go? It goes the way of Germany. You have to think. It's a long way back for Germany, but they can still, A, make a comeback, but B, just gain some confidence going through to the second set. Nicola. Into the net, the ball goes. The world champions from Russia. Vyacheslav Krasilnikov, Oleg Stoyanovsky have taken the opener of this men's gold medal match outside the Stadio Olimpico here in Rome. They've done a fine job of holding their nerve inside out. It's a long way back for Germany already. But you have to think here that they will improve drastically in a second. Russia's serve placement, let's have a look to the right side, Tolle. Quite a lot to the centre. That's to try and take his sharp angles across the court away, try and take his physicality away, bring him to the line. The Germany passing, look at that, that's a great stat. Passing 33% off the net, limits the options of the spiker, loses vision of Tolle and tempts him into playing on the cross court. When the ball's in system, you have better vision and you can access the whole court at this level. The answer to Hawkeye, Germany need to pass a little bit better if they're going to get back into this game. That stat doesn't quite agree with what we've just spoken about, but it doesn't really matter. 21-16 is a great stat. 57% of the attacks as well for Russia. The fans are in. been a season that swan through South America, Asia, Europe and the Americas. It's been a season that we've seen one of the best world championships ever. And now we're creating more memories here in the Fora Italico. The second set underway. The winner takes 1,200 world ranking points, 40,000 US dollars. Germany draw first. It really has been a season that's been fast and frantic. There's a challenge already here. Just be looking for a touch off Tolle. You can see for yourself, no touch off the blocker. Vickler, Tolle, Sorum, Moll, Stoyanovsky, all under the age of 24, the future of this sport. 
is in good hands. The progression fast and fierce. Stoyanovsky is being served again. They're staying on Stoyanovsky. But you just can't remember Germany making a block or a defensive play on Stoyanovsky for a long time. Vyacheslav Krasilnikov, he serves into the net, but you have to think that potentially he's completely out of rhythm as well because the ball's not really gone near him. He's not played defense, he's not really been served, and he's been really limited on what he's managed to impact throughout this game because everything's been aimed at Stoyanovsky, siding out and in the side out play, but Stoyanovsky just doesn't stop. This game plan from Germany at the moment isn't quite working. Stoyanovsky sees the court, chooses to fly one past Julius Tollet. Tolle the target. Good passing this time from Germany, far better. But when the serve is good, the pass is strong for Germany. They get dug by Krasilnikov. Look at this for a quick attack. Soft and smooth, long, and Stoyanovsky is just on absolute flames at the moment. Someone has to come over here and put him out. Even when Krasilnikov does touch the ball, he's trying to put Stoyanovsky in to try and score at the earliest possible time. Russia. Net band ace. Serving flat and fast. Stoyanovsky, everything is going his way. He says sorry, but then turns his back and celebrates. Tolik. Great swing from Tolik. That's more like it from Tolle. If you think about his last two side out plays, his pass has been into a much better zone, as we saw on the Hawkeye graphic. That was a key performance indicator from Tolle. If they want to improve in this second set, but there's more errors. From Germany in the serve this time. Krasilnikov serving to the centre. Vickler gets in this time. Rarely served Clemens Vickler as well. And there's another error. It's running away from Germany very quickly. Animated reactions from Vickler. Timeout from Germany. Something has to change here. At the moment, Russia had all the confidence coming into this game with two wins in big games already this year, the World Championships in Hamburg and also in The Hague. Although they've done a seriously professional job, Russia. Stoyanovsky, you just can't remember him. Apart from maybe in the first few points, being dug or being blocked. Krasilnikov has had a very quiet night. A great crowd here in Rome. Big volleyballing community. The likes of Nikolai and Lupo, Karen Bula, Rossi, inspiring local fans. The indoor team as well doing so well. Tolle. Whatever's been said in the timeout has fired Julius Tolle up. But to get back into this game, they need to make aces, blocks, and defensive plays. The tide 
is definitely against Germany here, but they have to keep on swimming. They have to try and stay in the game. This time it's so sharp from Stoyanovsky. The difficulty here for Vickler is that he comes in really on an angle, but not as sharp as he can hit down there. Tolle has to respect the body line of the spiker. And when Stoyanovsky rips that one to the sideline, there's just no digging it. But they're persisting on serving him all the same. On to Vickler. Serving from way downtown, Vickley has to run in very quick and take his defensive position. Can remember when Braham Houston played that ball back on one to beat Vickler at the World Championships. Very funny moment, but they have now gone on Krasilnikov. And what does Krasilnikov do? Just sides out. The Russians have sided out for fun all evening here. Good vision from Krasilnikov. Tolle again passing off the net, back in the 33% that we saw. But that's a clutchy swing from Julius Tolle. Off the net, high, hard, deep angle. No vision that time from Tolle. Everything looking up at the ball because he's underneath it. So he knows that's a great option. Fire deep on the angle. Krasilnikov, they have changed their service tactics, but it's two in a row for Krasilnikov, who does exactly the same thing as we saw from Stoyanovsky earlier on in the game, staying high, working off the hands. It's elegant from Stoyanovsky. Two little looks, he sees Tolle right in his vision line and just chips away over the top of the hands. The advantage, certainly, with Russia looking to win their fourth gold medal this evening. Overpass, Stoyanovsky does not need to be asked twice to put that point to bed. Straight in the gravel pit from Oleg Stoyanovsky. Charging in, body weights behind the ball, bosh into the sand. Russia look as if they are doing a dream double this season, the World Championship and the World Tour Finals here. And it's Stoyanovsky that just goes long. Great angle with the camera. Stoyanovsky the target once again. And if it's not Krasilnikov siding out with either Stoyanovsky or it's Krasilnikov, when was the last time we can remember Germany making a point in the block defense phase of the game. It's an incredible performance from Russia. Almost perfect. You definitely don't want to jinx them, but at this moment in time, they have done absolutely nothing wrong here. Tolle, very good again with that deep angle swing. Passing back in system. Seven again from deep, this time it's Tolle trying to make the ball float as much as possible towards Krasilnikov. There's a change as Tolle is playing defense. Unbelievable, but in transition, Tolle ends up on his backside as Stoyanovsky. It's very tight, and when you have a blocker at 6'9", two meters, seven centimeters, there are no hitting angles around that. Big block from Russia. Rare, rare error from Stoyanovsky. Technical timeout comes around. It's a three-point game. Germany have it all to do if they want to win gold. 
They've been incredible all week long, but this has been a perfect Russian performance. Wins against the USA, Czech Republic, Russia, Latvia, and Belgium. But Russia has to be feeling so confident, having beaten the world number ones, the Beach Volley Vikings last night in what was one of the tensest games of the season. They found the right recipe against the Beach Volley Vikings. But from 12, nine down, it's a long way back from Tolle and Vickler, who haven't made a block or a defensive play for so long. It's unlike them. Clemens Vickler to serve, spin serve this time. He's going for broke. They understand, the Germans, that they're struggling to break the rhythm of Russia, so they're trying lots of different options to try and achieve, achieve the goal of just even just knocking them out of system. They've passed so well throughout as well. Tolle passing comfortably, looks to the line, chops back on the cutty. Good work from Tolle. This is a much improved passing performance in the second set from Tolle. Tolle this time will charge through and block. Very much like a Laura Ludwig style serve, but it's another service error. That's three very quickly from Germany. It's hard to upset the apple car here in Rome. They've sided out really well. So Germany's answer to that is to try and serve tougher and tougher. And because they're trying to serve tougher, they're making errors as well on the turn, Krasilnikov. So smooth back there, adjusting all the time. It's another one that goes against Germany. Russia are leading by five now, but it looks as if we are going to the challenge station. Krasilnikov just putting his body on the line every time for Russia. Well, you can tell there's no touch off the hands of Oleg Stoyanovsky. That's been confirmed by Hawkeye. Maybe just a way to slow the game down as well. Torle goes back to the line. That's a rocket. Julius Torle. Great work from the big German on the right side. Slightly wider set this time means the line can be accessed slightly easier. When the three previous games of World Championship, if you can remember, went to three, 15-11 in the third to Russia. The Doha four-star pool game went to three as well. The Hague four-star final was done in two, 21-11, 21-18. That's one back for Germany. That's the first time that they've managed to take one back off the Russians with their serve and defensive play. The challenge. The question is, did the ball hit the line? And that, ladies and gentlemen, sums up Germany's evening. Even when they think they get one back and they close the gap to three, the challenge system shows that the ball is actually in 
and it's a five-point game instead of a three-point game. And the world champions are now looking very likely to do the double, but Tolle again. Pat on the back from Vickler. Maybe, just maybe, there's life in the Germans yet. They've sided out pretty well as of late, but they have to stop this perfect performance from the Russians. Who do they serve this time? Short and Stoyanovsky. What a set from Krasil Nikov! Krasil Nikov points straight at Stoyanovsky, but that was all about Krasil Nikov. A fast pass of a tough serve. It doesn't matter what the Germans throw at Russia, they just throw it straight back even harder. Turning with the body to access the angle, it doesn't matter. Good vision from Stoyanovsky. Russia, perfect again. You have to feel for Germany here because they're trying so many different ways, but Russia have just performed out of their box. There's one back. The side out game isn't the issue at the moment for Germany because it's hard to match the level of the Russians. That's a ripper from Tolle. Suffer that, Krasilnikov, say Germany. Nicola with the spin serve to the outside hand. Perfect passing again from Russia and a clean side out play. Near on perfect from Krasilnikov. And it's a fantastic serve from Vikla. It's fast, it's quick to the sideline. It's making Krasilnikov move, but yet he's setting up well, organizing himself and reacting and creating a great platform as well. And then there's Stoyanovsky. Great reactions. Tolle needs one here. Two from Stoyanovsky. And two covers in a row from Tolle. And Tolle on the turn. Scores for Germany. There's one back. Moments of joy in a difficult gold medal match. Tolle on one knee uses the wrist to elevate the ball. Turning. And throw him himself through that ball, Julius Tolle. It looks as if we are going to have exactly the same podium. Though from the World Championships, there's one back, but the recovery setting this time from Stoyanovsky. Swadding away. And now Germany are actually starting to knock Russia out of system. But their outer system play is still really effective. Looking for the defender this time, chipping around, Krasilnikov. Not every skill has been performed perfectly, but it's just been the perfect all-round performance of decision-making, of recovery when they are out of system. Tolle, again, Puts the ball in for Vickler this time, and he sides out with ease. And Germany have played their part in this side-out game. They've just dropped too many too early. Time out now from Russia this time. They must just be feeling some sort of pressure or they're just asking Germany to sit down for a moment before they feel confident enough to get themselves back into this game. of the final in Hamburg and it looks like it's going to be a similar result unless Clemens Wickler 
can fire something special here. Spin serve this time from the left sideline. Goes long. Good time out from Russia. Just to stop the momentum of Clemens Vickler before he scores too many from back there. Gold medal points for Russia. They've been sublime. The world champions look as if they are going to do the double here. Two of the biggest events on the world tour. Stoyanovsky thought that was curtains. Celebrating already, but Tolle sees the gap. That's an unbelievable swing. Spike height of over three meters. Second match points for Russia to do this double. Serving from way downtown, Clemens Vickler in to block, chasing around, trying to move. It's Stoyanovsky on the back set that seals the deal for Russia here in Rome. They have won the World Tour Finals. It's their fourth win of the season, following up the victory in Hamburg. A 2-0 win here against the same opposition from Germany. A great week's work for Julius Toller and Clemens Wickler. 14 events this season for Russia. Four wins, one silver and one bronze. The Beach Volley Vikings have won eight times this year, but it's Russia that win the two biggest competitions on the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. Krasilnikov and Stoyanovsky are at the forefront of this game, and it was an impeccable performance, faultless, and you can't remember them really missing a side-out play all evening. Stoyanovsky, who was served for a large percentage of this evening. Krasilnikov was very quiet, but after beating the Beach Volley Vikings in an epic three-setter that the beach volleyball community will remember forever, they've gone and won the double here in Rome. Stoyanovsky, Krasilnikov have won here, one in Hamburg, one in Charmen, and the Hague four-star. Four wins this season. There's a confirmation of the score. Our gold medalists, the world tour champions for 2019, Russia. Looks like we are going to head down courtside to hear from the Russians with Mark Sherman. Well, first in Hamburg, it was a world championship. And now Oleg Vasheslav, world tour finals champions. How's it feel to get the two biggest wins of the year, Oleg? Uh, thank you very much. It's incredible. I can't imagine it in the beginning of the season that we can take two most important uh, tournaments in the year. Yeah, and, and this partnership is incredible. You're playing with the Olympian. What's it like? Vasislav was on fire all night long. It must give you a lot of confidence with a defender like that behind you. Yeah, sure. He was one of the best defenders in the world, and uh, he gives me confidence. Uh, on the court and off the court, sure, he's like my, my mental coach. Amazing. Hey, hey, Vasislav, an incredible crowd. Anything you'd like to say to Roma? Grazie mille, Roma. Woo! Roma, your World Tour Finals champions, and now it's time to get the trophy from the Italian Federation president, Mr. Pietro Bruno Catania. Well, the trophy moment presented to Russia. They've done the double here in Rome after winning the World Championships in Hamburg. There's lots of talk about the beach volley Vikings in the semis against Christian Sorum and Anders Moll. Oleg Stoyanovsky with the trophy suggested that was their best performance ever from Russia. Wins against Netherlands, Switzerland, Qatar and Italy on the way through as well. As we have a look at the statistics for this one, 2-0. Attack 68%. Three blocks to two, more serves as well. And the reception says slightly better from Germany, but it was sublime side out play. Faultless with minimal errors as we go to some highlights from the men's gold medal match.
Well, Vierstab, Priscilla Nikov, and Oleg Storinovsky have capped off the perfect year. They've done the double of the big tournaments on the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. But from us, from Rome, it's been a pleasure. And we will see you very, very soon. From myself, Louis Letts, and the team, it's goodbye for now.